Hey farmers, what's going on? Welcome back to another Haiti video. In this video, I'm going to be talking about my goals for 2023 in Haiti, specifically what I'm planning to do with my game this year and how I'm going to be playing Haiti because I feel like every year is a start of a new beginning. And of course, in the game, we should decide things that we should really focus on first. And then there are some things that come quite late. So I'm just going to get started with my game. The first thing, as usual, we're going to harvest my crops. I've got some sesame and sugar canes. So we're going to do all that. Let's see what I can get from here. Okay, I think I got a saw and a shovel. And now I'm going to plant some crops. The first crop that I'm going to plant is wheat. And I'm going to go with some soybeans. Yeah, there we go. Let's have a look at the visitors, seeing what they actually need. Okay, I'm just going to send her away. I don't have the milk. I am currently doing a boat task, which is to send four boats. So let's see if I can fill this one. Oh, I needed sugar canes. Okay, I didn't see this one. That's not a problem. I have a lot of new keys, so I'm going to do that. I'll probably do one of the sugar canes. Let's do um, some candy bars, and I'm just going to... Um, ask for help. Okay, that's how I do it all the time. And now we need to put an advertisement. And of course, um, that's going to be with the corn. I think I'm going to come to the main topic of this video, which is my goals for this year. If you guys have been following my Haiti journey for a long time, you will know one thing that my playing style is a little different. I make my goals in the game and then I focus on them. Ever since I've started making goals back in 2020, I think it's been helping me a lot with Haiti. I've become a better player. My gameplay has been a lot better. I've become more strategic. I know how to plan things, how to prioritize them. It just helps a lot to progress fast in the game because yes, Haiti is a farming game, business game. You have to have some kind of strategies to see how you're actually going to work in this game. Okay, I've seen people that ruin their own farms just because they couldn't because they couldn't figure out what to do, and then they end up creating a whole mess. And I've also seen people that have such good strategies, they play very efficiently, and they progress very fast in the game. So the progress in the Haiti all depends on how you play this game. And I say this all the time, this doesn't seem like it's a strategy game. Of course, you're not going to other farms, you're not looting their crops or their dairy products, but you still need to have some sort of strategies, you need to have a roadmap to see how you're actually going to play the game. Because in this game, there is a lot to do. So unless you have very clear goals in the game and you know what you're doing, you are not going to progress very fast. And this is coming from someone who's been playing Haiti for the past six years, and this is from my own experience. Now, the next question you must be wondering, how do you make the goals? How do I know what to do? So the first thing here is, of course, the common sense. Now, this is not to offend anyone, and I'm sorry if this comes in a negative way. Just remember that I don't mean it. So there are some things in the game that are obviously very important. For example, you're level 30 or level 40. Your main goal should be to make a lot of money in the game and to purchase all your machines. You're not going to go ahead and spend like a million of coins on the statues and you're like, oh, this was my goal. Obviously, this was never your goal. Your goal should be to get all the important things like all the machines, um, get all the animals, make sure to get all the pets in the game. Those are some of the main goals that you really need to focus on. I'm going to say those are some significant goals, um, important goals that are Otherwise, you're going to have a tough time if you don't get these things in the game. Now, after you've been done with all that, for example, at my level 222, I've got all those things. I have all the machines, I've got all my crops, all my animals unlocked, all my pets unlocked and everything. So now, does this mean that I'm going to stop playing Haiti? No, because Haiti is made in a way that it actually never stops. There is so much to do. There's so much room in this game. So at my stage, you can definitely start prioritizing things depending on your taste, depending on some specific things that you actually enjoy. For example, I really like town. So my main focus in the game is to actually level up in the town. And now I've seen people that are not very interested in the town, so they don't really do it. I've seen people, um, you know, completing Maggie's books just because they like her. So that all depends on your taste. But this only happens after you've purchased and after you're done with the important stuff in the game. And what's the important stuff? All your machines, all the crops, animals, pets. You have to make sure that you get those first before you actually start spending your resources on something else in the game. I'm going to come to my goals for this year. So my very first goal for 2023 is to get all my land expanded. Yes, guys, I'm one of those unfortunate people that have never been at the stage to have all my farm expanded. Ever since I've been doing this, Haiti has been adding more and more land, especially in the past 
two years, I think 2020 to 21, it's been a crazy year for the land. They added so much land. Like literally guys, they were not stopping. And I think last year they didn't really bring any land, which I was happy. It gave me some time to work on my land. You guys can see that I still have quite a lot of pieces to go. And this is going to take me, if I'm not wrong, probably a year or maybe early if I grind too hard. And that's only if Haiti doesn't add more land this year, because if you guys don't know, I have a very subtle feeling that Haiti is going to add more land in the update in 2023, and I'm going to get really mad if they did so, because I'm never going to be able to complete my goal, which is to have all my farm expanded, literally no land left, and that day will definitely be one of the best days of my life, to have all my land expanded. So what I've been doing for this goal, if you guys have been noticing, I have not missed any derbies in the past two to three months. I've been playing every single derby because I'm not a very passionate derby player. Derby is not one of my favorite things in the game. I don't really enjoy it. I think occasionally it's good, but I'm one of those players that prefer a normal, relaxing gameplay. It doesn't mean the derby is bad. I'm not denying the fact that you get a lot of benefits out of the derby. And if you love competition in the game, I think derby is better for you. And it's actually really good because it gives me an opportunity to get at least two expansion permits and five when there's bunny derby or there's a bingo derby. So that's a really good way to get expansion permits. That's why I've been playing all the derbies. This is my only goal. I don't care about the puzzle pieces that much. I don't care about the creations. I only care about the expansion permits. And that's the reason I play the derby. Even though I'm back at university and I have a hectic schedule, I'm still playing the derbies because I really don't want to miss all the expansion permits. So that's my first goal for 2023. Not sure if Hades is going to add more lanes. They might do, so I guess we're just going to have to wait and see. My next goal is in the town, and that is to get my reputation level to 70. Yes, probably not that big of a goal, and obviously it's going to happen in probably a month now, because I just need almost 50,000 more reputation points. Yes, I'm not saying level 75, because I know that's not going to happen, um, town requires a lot of efforts, a lot of hard work, a lot of time, which I'm sure I'm not going to have this year. So it's very certain that I'm not going to get to level 80 or maybe level 75 in the town. I might do you guys, maybe 72, 73, but my main goal is just 70. And of course, this is going to happen. This is probably one of the easiest goals for me in the game right now. Last year, my goal was to get to level 60 in the town, and I did it in the first month of 2022. That was such a great achievement, and I really enjoyed it. So let's see when I get to level 70. I'm really excited. I'm currently at level 69 in the town. Yes, I'm a hardcore town player. I'm a town addict, and I love town. I think it's one of the best places in the game, and the people who don't play the town are really missing out on a lot of good stuff. So yeah, let's see how this one goes. After the town, I'm coming back to my barn upgrades. I've been very slow with my barn upgrades in the past year, um, just because I didn't think it was important. Like, I know the importance of the barn in the game generally, but I just thought this was not my thing to do. However, I realized at the end of this year that you do need to have as much barn space as you can to have a better gameplay. The barn is just like the heart of your farm. The more barn you have, the better your gameplay will be. So that's what I'm going to do. It also helps in the XP events if you guys can store more food and then you can send more trucks to level up even faster. My barn is currently 7,150 and my goal is to get it to 7,500 by the end of this year or maybe more. I'm not going to say I'm going to get it to 10,000. That's obviously not going to happen. Maybe 8,000, but that's going to be a lot of work. So for this purpose, what I've been doing is I've been harvesting a lot. I occasionally do weeding, which is boring, but I think it's worth it. I obviously don't miss on the town. I play town through to four times every single day and apart from that i just play my game regularly and i get a lot of tools from the events um i also get some tools from here you know rose collects them for me i also train training is one of the best ways to get tools so yeah that's going to be my main goal i generally never stop upgrading the barn but nowadays i've been focusing more on the barn so this is my main goal and i think this is something very important for me at a high level because barn upgrades help you so much with the game. I could probably say the same about the silo, but I'm not really passionate about it. I'm just going to give it some time and I'm just going to see how it actually goes. However, my silo currently is 6,150. So maybe I'll be able to get it to 6,500. Maybe not. I'm not very passionate. I don't know if it's actually going to happen. Next, I'm going to be completing all my achievements this year. Well, technically, I've already completed them, but guys, it still says 149 over 150, and I just need to donate almost 100 more items to have 150 over 150. And that's going to be such a great feeling. Not that big of a goal, to be honest, but something that I'm going to work towards. 
All right, my next goal is, of course, to get all my machines fully mastered. You guys know how hard last year was, especially with the fudge shop and the yogurt maker. These machines were literally the monsters of the game. But now I have the stew pot that I'm still almost 230 hours away, so it's going to be happening very soon. Um, so for this purpose, I've just been making a lot of winter stew. This machine is very easy to fully master, so not that hard of a goal. But the problem is the cupcake maker is quite challenging. This is really tough to fully master considering you need uh, to have plain cakes first, which need like three white sugar each. So this is really crazy. And all the cupcakes are hard to make, especially this one. This needs like two cookies. So I'm not sure how long it's going to take. It's probably going to be another four to five months. And then I'm not sure if Haiti is going to bring more machines this year. So this is just like a loop that keeps repeating itself. It's so funny to think about it. The only time I had all my machines fully mastered was in... September 2022, just five days before Haiti brought the steam pot. And yes, my friends, those were the days of happiness. Now, what's my next goal? What is there to do in Haiti? I think those are some of my main goals. Other than that, there's also the fishing book in the fishing area, which I'm not really passionate about, to be honest. That's going to be a good goal. I should actually start working on it. But the problem is this needs a lot of time. And I'm not sure if I'm ready for this. I might be ready, actually. Um... I might work for this. Yeah, so there's no surety that I'm actually going to work on this. I could probably, I could not. So I think only the time will tell me. Now, last, you must be wondering, do you have any level goals for this year? So you guys remember last year, my goal was to get to level 200. That took me almost three months. I leveled up to 200 back in March of 2022. That was such a beautiful moment, and I'll never forget the feelings of excitement that I had when I leveled up to 200. That was pretty cool. And I feel like after leveling up to 200, I kind of slowed down on the levels. So currently my level is 222 and I've not been focusing really hard on the levels as I did last year because I really wanted to get to 200. And now I just don't get excited for the levels, to be honest. It's not that I don't care about levels. I mean, I mean of course I get happy when I level up to the next level, but the problem is I don't see any specific goals. Okay, I might say that I want to level up to 250 by the end of this year, I could work on that, but I'm not sure if that's really going to happen. It's going to take a lot of time. The only thing that's been helping me so much is definitely the farm pass. I've been playing it, and of course, I play the town. But still, getting to level 250 by the end of 2023, I'm not even sure if that's a good goal. And I'm not even sure if that's plausible, if that's actually going to happen. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think that I can actually get to 250 by the end of this year, or... I'm going to fail. Let's see how many people actually agree on this one. So yeah, that could be one of my main goals if it ever happened. Like, I'm, I'm not really focusing on this, guys. I still haven't decided, to be honest. I think that's going to be a clear answer. But I might think about it. It's going to be a lot of time, and, I'm, and I don't think I'm really going to have that much time to level up to 250. But of course, we shall see what happens. So I think that concludes all my goals for 2023. They're not really that difficult. They are a bit challenging, especially... Um, the barn and the lane one, but I think it's all worth it. I'm definitely going to have all my land opened that I can start designing my farm and there's just so much room for me to showcase my designing skills, which I obviously don't have. What does it really take to pretend, huh? So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what are your goals for 2023. Are you planning to have all your machines? Are you trying to upgrade your barn to 10,000, maybe 20,000? Are you trying to complete Maggie? Just let me know anything you want to do this year in the game. Of course, I wish you guys best of luck for your goals in the game. And don't give up too early. Keep playing. This game does need a bit of strategy and planning, as I say all the time. So don't worry if you think this is hard for you at a certain moment. Take your time. Don't rush things. Try to enjoy this game as much as possible because that's really the main purpose of the game. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.